Introducing From the Kingdom A breaking news report about the scientific finding of a new profound species Scrabbling a circle Of the Kingdom and Leader Coming from Mrs. Glockson's first period class. Made by Innovative Researchers. Coming from the biologist Magdi Megsoud and his partner Logan Moorman. Researching team for the invasive earthworms research. Scribbling more lines. Presenting for invasive research. Earthworms. A new look at the invertebrate species. There's a species out there, so profound, so special that it can't be explained in one report, it is, the earthworm. Before we get started on the news report, let's complete our charts. The earthworm is an annelid, and has an bilateral symmetry, and it has cephalization, and it is echoilimate, and has a closed circulatory. It also has a hydrostatic skeleton, its digestive system consists of the organs, mouth, gizzard, crop, intestine, and the anus, it has two body openings and its respiratory is skin by diffusion, its excretion is nephridia, and its response system consists of ganglia, nerve cord, and brain, its reproduction is sexual, and some additional info, it is often referred to as a night crawler. Welcome back on channel Obscure News and this is your news anchor worm lover. Before we take an in-depth look at this phenomenon, let's understand the general characteristics of the species in the phylum that the earthworms are in. Which is, anleda, or anlids. They normally have the following characteristics, segmented bodies, bilateral symmetry, a true body cavity, colon, pussy owned by structures called septa. Also, the organs of the digestive, nervous, and circulatory systems penetrate the septa and run the length of the body. And, the digestive tract is divided into several well-developed organs, pharynx, i.e. esophagus, crop, gizzard, and intestine. Now, let's go into the funnest part, the classes that are included in the phylum and leader, which consist of the classes, polychyta, mostly marine worms, such as Neraeus, the clamworm, Hyrudiania, the leeches, predominantly freshwater, such as Hyrudo, Oligocida, mostly freshwater and terrestrial worms, such as Lumbricus. The earthworms, the three specific species that can be found in the kingdom are as follows. Marine worms, leeches, and roundworm can be found in these kingdoms. Here's a diagram of the earthworm and we can see how the body functions throughout this special organism. Let's take a look at their rich taxonomic key of an earthworm which can be found in the kingdom. Animalia, phylum, and leader, class, Oligocida. Order, Megadrilacea, Family, Megasclasidae, Genus, Amenthus species, Amenthus alexandrii, which is a special Asian earthworm. As we can see, we now have a little background information over this species, now let's take a look at their form and functions and understand the way an earthworm works. For this special occasion, we've called upon the researcher of this earthworm project, Worm Lover. Thank you, thank you, it's a pleasure to be on your news report. My name is Wormalover and I am presenting on the behalf of Make Sound Research. Enough talk shall we? Let's take a new invasive look at this species from inside out. Now, an earthworm's movement is generated from a circumferential and longitudinal muscles, on the periphery of each segment enable the worm to move skeleton which lacks a backbone, or considered an invertebrate, main their structure with fluid-filled coelom chambers that function as an hydrostatic skeleton. How do they feed themselves? As we can see in many soils, earthworms play a major role in the conversion of large pieces of organic matter into rich humus, thus improving soil fertility. This is achieved by the worm's actions of pulling below organic matter deposited on the surface, such as leaf fall or manure either for food or to plug its burrow. Releasing in its waste nitrogen-rich and other nutrient-rich products for the plant to use and enrich the soil function ability, their digestion works quite simply, food enters through the mouth, the pharynx acts as a suction pump, its muscular walls draw in food, such as an esophagus, in the pharynx, 
the pharyngeal glands secrete mucus, food moves into the esophagus, where calcium from the blood and ingested from previous meals is pumped into the food to maintain proper blood calcium levels in the blood and food pH, from there it passes into the crop and gizzard, in the gizzard, strong muscular contractions grind the food up with the help of mineral particles ingested. Along with the food, once through the gizzard, food continues through the intestine for digestion, the intestine secretes pepsin to digest proteins, amylase to digest polysaccharides, cellulase to digest cellulose, and lipase to digest fats. Instead of being coiled like a mammal intestine, an earthworm's intestine increases surface area to increase nutrient absorption by having many folds running along its length, the intestine has its own pair of muscle layers like the body, and releases its waste through the anus, giving the plant vital nutrients to function optimally. Let us take a look at how the circulatory system for earthworms work. With having a dual circulatory system composed of the coelom and a closed circulatory system both of which carry the food, waste and respiratory gases, time to hand it off the mastermind of this whole operation, Magdi makes out himself, to explain the rest of the functionability of this unique organism. I would like to thank all this audience for the listening to this thing. And let me explain the rest of this circulatory system for the earthworm, which has actually five main blood vessels. The dorsal vessel, which runs above the digestive tract, the ventral ve vessel, which runs below the digestive tract, the subneural vessel, which runs below the ventral nerve cord, and two latter neural vessels on either side of the nerve cord. The dorsal vessel acts by moving the blood forward, while the other four longitudinal vessels carry the blood to the rear. In segments 6 through 11, which is the segments of the body, is a pair of aortic arch arches rings through those coelom and acts as hearts, pumping the blood to the ventral vessel that acts as the aorta. The blood consists of the amboid cells and hemoglobin dissolved in the plasma. The second circulatory system derives from the re cells of the digestive system that line the coelom. The respiratory system in an earthworm have no, actually no special respiratory organs. Gases are exchanged through the moist skin and capillaries where the oxygen is picked up by the hemoglobin dissolved in the blood plasma and carbon dioxide is released. Water as well as salts can be moved through the skin by active transport. The excretion for an earthworm works when the worm has complete digestion. It excretes its waste in the form of casts. Deposited on the surface or deeper in the soil, minerals and plant nutrients are changed to an accessible form for plants. Coming out through the anus region and research shows it's actually very healthy for the plant. And let me just give you a brief way look on how the response for an earthworm works. Well, in a time of stress, earthworms just eject a cholemic fluid through their pores if they see a predator or something that gives them a high amount of stress. And they usually, they, usually it doesn't happen, but the one that actually does the highest amount of, of this kind of fluid is the blue squirter earthworm, which can actually squirt up to 30 centimeters. And I'll pass it back to Professor Warmlover. Why, thank you, sir. Once again, now let's go into the rest of the earthworm, the reproductive and fertilization of an earthworm, which mating usually occurs at night. Earthworms are hermaphrodites, that is they have both male and female sexual organs, earthworms have one or two pairs of testes contained within sacs. There are two or four pairs of seminal vesicles which produce, store and release the sperm via the male pores, ovaries and oviducts in segment 13 release eggs via female pores on segment 14, while sperm is expelled from segment 15. They also reproduce by going side by side and exchange sperm and afterwards leave. Thank you for your time and I appreciate the time I was able to explain my passion, this is Earthworm Lover and giving the spotlight to the female news anchor. These magnificent creatures of nature are known as night crawlers and continue to change the world we live in, one piece, soil at a time.
it keeps the agricultural industries be its finest fruits with this species' help.